In optimization theory, the max flow Minkert theorem states that in a flow network, the maximum amount of flow passing from the source to the sink is equal to the minimum capacity that, when removed in a specific way from the network, causes the situation that no flow can pass from the source to the sink. The max flow Minkert theorem is a special case of the duality theorem for linear programs and can be used to derive Menger's theorem and the Kuhner-Gagovary theorem. Definitions and Statement let n equals b a network with s and t being the source and the sink of n respectively. Maximum flow definition. The capacity of an edge is a mapping c, e r plus, denoted by c u v or c. It represents the maximum amount of flow that can pass through an edge. Definition. A flow is a mapping f, e r plus, denoted by f u v or f, subject to the following two constraints. 1. Capacity constraint. 2. Conservation of flows. Definition. The value of flow is defined by where S is the source of N. It represents the amount of flow passing from the source to the sink. Maximum flow problem. Maximize F, that is, to route as much flow as possible from S to T. Minimum cut definition. An ST cut C equals as a partition of E such that S S and T T. The cut set of C is the set. Note that if the edges in the cut set of C are removed, F equals zero. Definition. The capacity of an ST cut is defined by where if and zero otherwise. Minimum ST cut problem. Minimize C, that is, to determine S and T such that the capacity of the ST cut is minimal. Statement Max Flow Min Cut Theorem. The maximum value of an ST flow is equal to the minimum capacity over all ST cuts. Linear program formulation. The max flow problem and min cut problem can be formulated as two primal dual linear programs. Note that for the given ST cut if then and zero otherwise, therefore should be one and should be zero. The equality in the max flow min cut theorem follows from the strong duality theorem in linear programming, which states that if the primal program has an optimal solution, x asterisk, then the dual program also has an optimal solution, y asterisk such that the optimal values formed by the two solutions are equal. Example, the figure on the right is a network having a value of flow of 7. The vertex in white and the vertices in gray form the subsets S and T of an ST cut, whose cut set contains the dashed edges. Since the capacity of the ST cut is 7, which equals to the value of flow, the max flow min cut theorem tells us that the value of flow and the capacity of the ST cut are both optimal in this network. Application Generalize max flow min cut theorem in addition to edge capacity, consider there is capacity at each vertex, that is, a mapping C, VR plus, denoted by C, such that the flow F has to satisfy not only the capacity constraint and the conservation of flows, but also the vertex capacity constraint. In other words, the amount of flow passing through a vertex cannot exceed its capacity. Define an ST cut to be the set of vertices and edges such that for any path from S to T, the path contains a member of the cut. In this case, the capacity of the cut is the sum the capacity of each edge and vertex in it. In this new definition, the generalized max flow min cut theorem states that the maximum value of an ST flow is equal to the minimum capacity of an ST cut in the new sense. Menger's theorem in the undirected edge disjoint paths problem, we are given an undirected graph G equals and two vertices S and T, and we have to find the maximum number of edge disjoint ST paths in G. The Menger's theorem states that the maximum number of edge disjoint ST paths in an undirected graph is equal to the minimum number of edges in an ST cut set. Project selection problem In the project selection problem, there are n projects and m equipments. Each project pi yields revenue r and each equipment qj costs c to purchase. Each project requires a number of equipments and each equipment can be shared by several projects. 
The problem is to determine which projects and equipment should be selected and purchased respectively, so that the profit is maximized. Let P be the set of projects not selected and Q be the set of equipments purchased. Then the problem can be formulated as, since the first term does not depend on the choice of P and Q, this maximization problem can be formulated as a minimization problem instead, that is, the above minimization problem can then be formulated as a minimum cut problem by constructing a network where the source is connected to the projects with capacity R, and the sink is connected by the equipments with capacity C. An edge with infinite capacity is added if project π requires equipment QJ. The ST cut set represents the projects and equipments in P and Q respectively. By the max flow min cut theorem, one can solve the problem as a maximum flow problem. The figure on the right gives a network formulation of the following project selection problem. The minimum capacity of AST cut is 250 and the sum of the revenue of each project is 450. Therefore the maximum profit G is 450 minus 250 equals 200. By selecting projects P2 and P3, the idea here is to flow the project profits through the pipes of the equipment. If we cannot fill the pipe, the equipment's return is less than its cost, and the min-cut algorithm will find it cheaper to cut the project's profit edge instead of the equipment's cost edge. Image segmentation problem In the image segmentation problem, there are n pixels. Each pixel light can be assigned a foreground value phi or a background value by. There is a penalty of pij if pixels i, j are adjacent and have different assignments. The problem is to assign pixels to foreground or background such that the sum of their values minus the penalties is maximum. Let p be the set of pixels assigned to foreground and q be the set of points assigned to background. Then the problem can be formulated as. This maximization problem can be formulated as a minimization problem instead, that is, the above minimization problem can be formulated as a minimum cut problem by constructing a network where the source is connected to all the pixels with capacity phi, and the sink is connected by all the pixels with capacity by. Two edges and with pij capacity are added between two adjacent pixels. The ST cut set then represents the pixels assigned to the foreground in P and pixels assigned to background in Q. History The max flow min cut theorem was proven by P. Elias, Feinstein, and C. E. Shannon in 1956, and independently also by L. R. Ford, Jr., and D. R. Fulkerson in the same year. Proof. Let G equals B A network with S and T being the source and the sink of G respectively. Consider the flow F computed for G by ford fulkerson algorithm. In the residual graph obtained for G, define two subsets of vertices as follows. The set of vertices reachable from S in G F. Back. The set of remaining vertices i.e. V minus A. Claim. Value equals C, where the capacity of an ST cut is defined by. Now, we know, for any subset of vertices. Therefore for value equals C we need. All outgoing edges from the cut must be fully saturated. All incoming edges to the cut must have zero flow. To prove the above claim we consider two cases. In G, there exists an outgoing edge such that it is not saturated, i.e., F less than CXY. This implies that there exists a forward edge from X to Y and GF. Therefore there exists a path from S to Y and GF, which is a contradiction. Hence, any outgoing edge is fully saturated. In G, there exists an incoming edge such that it carries some non-zero flow, i.e., F greater than zero. This implies that there exists a backward edge from X to Y and GF. Therefore, there exists a path from S to Y and GF, which is again a contradiction. Hence, any incoming edge must have zero flow. Both of the above statements prove that the capacity of cut obtained in the above described manner is equal to the flow obtained in the network. 
Also, the flow was obtained by Ford Fulkerson algorithm, so it is the max flow of the network as well. Also, since any flow in the network is always less than or equal to capacity of every cut possible in a network, the above-described cut is also the min cut which obtains the max flow.